So the following videos are All true right, while the other one is trash. Can you spot the fake? Round one, let's begin. If you take a bolt and wrap some bare copper wire around it and attach this coil bare to a battery wire. pack, okay. you've now made an electromagnet. So when you turn it on, you can pick up small objects like this screw. But you got no insulation. That's not likely to work. Thankfully, he's working on a small scale. Otherwise, you're more likely to make a fire hazard. You're creating short circuits at each contact point. This is a bit like trying to make a neutron moderator out of pure sodium. I mean, you could, but I really wouldn't recommend it unless you really like unplanned phase changes and unplanned criticality in your reactor. Bring some water to a boil and mix in sugar until the sugar is fully dissolved and it's saturated. Okay. Then wet a chopstick and coat it in some additional grains of sugar. Next, so add some food saturated. dye to a jar and pour the sugar solution in, mixing it. Then take the chopstick and hang it so it's partially submerged in the solution. After leaving the chopstick for Okay, so he's making a nucleation site. For a few days, sugar crystals have grown on it, and you've successfully made rock candy. And this is why you have your reactor coolant loops as clean as possible, because impurities can build up like that on fuel rods, which can alter your thermal conductivity and even cause localized hot spots. You really don't want that. When you think of lightning, you probably think of it as striking from the sky to the ground, but lightning can also strike from the ground to the sky. Yes. Usually see it for tall structures or elevated terrain, but yeah, electric field strengths exceed the breakdown threshold. Kind of how ionization chambers in a reactor operate when you're exposed to strong gamma flux. A lot of ionizations occur. Like a reverse neutron source. You've seen all three videos now. Pause to vote in the comments which A is the fake one. One you thought was fake. If you thought this was a real way to make an electromagnet, you'd be wrong. You'd need to use insulated wire to actually make an electromagnet. Yes, it's also way safer that way. 